Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So it's Sunday today, so I thought I'd have another play in my sort of like collage um, journal today. And I thought I'm going to use another napkin because last week I did this one here. I'm hoping you can see that. And I used some napkins um, on that. So I've picked out this really pretty butterfly. Now I want to go a little bit less this week. Well, I'm going to try sort of like teach myself to not use so much stuff so I've just got this beautiful napkin which I want to use the butterfly um, I've already gessoed the back of our page because um, I want to add some again I want to add some more of this the, the um, distress oxide sprays um, and that will sort of like save the page um, which will be nice and then I'm going to use this lovely stencil so the first thing I'm going to do I've got some relief paste um, so I'm going to pop the napkin to the side and I just want to do a little bit just sort of like around the outside of it. So let's make sure we're in shot. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this. I'm going to take one of these. Just take a little bit. I haven't used this for a very, very long time. So let's just see how this goes. I think it doesn't really matter which way around this goes. So let's just pop a little bit down on here just around the outside and I also want this to sort of like dry and then we can add a little bit of the distress oxides to it to bring out a little bit of the colour um, on it so I do love this stencil um, it's absolutely gorgeous and I don't use my stencils enough, I don't think. So, perfect opportunity, isn't it? So, what I'm going to do, I've done that. I'm going to just quickly leave that to dry, um, wash that off, and then I will come back and we will add the butterfly in bits in there. So, two seconds. Okay, so that's dry now. So, um, while I was waiting for that to dry, I cut out the, or I tore out the little butterfly which I'm going to pop on there, which I think is lovely. Um, and then I've just got a few bits of scrap paper, um, some book paper and some little bits of pieces here. And I've got this lovely one from my words and phrases, which is peacefulness. And I think that just looks really pretty um, to go on here as well as, the, as a, like a little, a little word. So what I'm going to do first, we're going to just colour these a little bit. And I've got a little bit of paper under there so I don't make so much mess. Pop those there. So I have got milled lavender. I have got old paper. I have got worn lipstick. That might be a little bit too bright. Um, and weathered wood. Um, and a couple more green ones, which is the bundled sage and the shabby shutter. But I think I will go with the old paper. So let's just go for the little bit of green first. So I think this is what I used in the last one as well. So I'm just going to just add a little bit of this. I don't really want to spray it because I make too much mess when I spray it. So I'm just going to add that. I've got a little water brush here, which I'm just going to go around with it like that. Just a little bit, a little bit more green on here. This is such a pretty green. Just like that. And I think I will go in with the blue, which is the weathered wood. It's more of a sort of a grey colour than a blue. Flicking it. how pink this is the worn lipstick let's just see if it's oh, I think it might be okay 
just a little bit of pink in there. I do the lids up because I make so much mess and then we've got the milled lavender let's add a little bit of this into here in with the pink I love lavender. I do like lavender. Oops. Not too sure whether I like that pink. I think I prefer this one. Okay, I think that looks good as the background. I might actually pop a little bit of, I've got some sort of like gold paste, which I might try and just pop over the top of the relief there. So let's pop you in there. So doesn't that look pretty? That looks very pretty. Now, shall I put these over the top or? Let's move those to there and I'm just going to put a little bit under there. I think I might put it underneath. Let's go for a little bit of just a little bit of the torn book paper. This goes really well with the colours I think. That looks nice doesn't it? What else should we have? Just a little bit of a little bit of green. Take that end off. Hmm. I think that might be enough. Okay, let's just get a little bit of the matte medium. Let me have this brush here because I don't want to too much down. Let's go for a little bit of green first, I think. Over the top. Stick this over the top of there. you up there and then I think whatever I did with the word with peacefulness I think I will pop on the top like that so let's put this down my brush isn't that big so this is just the um, matte medium that I'm putting on here Nice thing about napkins, they stick down really easily. Like that, and I just love them. Oops.
Oh, this looks really pretty, doesn't it? I think that's pretty much all of that glued down. It's just got to be so careful you don't rip the napkins though when you do this. Because sometimes I can be pretty heavy handed when it comes to glue and things like that. So that looks lovely. I'm loving that. Gorgeous. Now I think I need, what can I put over that? I'm not sure whether I quite like. Maybe I will add a little bit of, let me pop the lid on here. I'm going to add a little bit of gesso over the top of that. I'm going to use my brush. Let's just take Just bring that down a little bit. I'm going to quickly just dry this. Okay. Stick our word on. Like this, just a little bit of glue on the back. Daisy. In one of my drawers, I do believe I have some silver or gold paste if I can find the right drawer. Okay, so I have got a couple. I have some silver, I have some gold, I have this beautiful blue, and I also, oh, I've got this beautiful pink, rosy colour. Maybe I'll add. A little bit of this. Let's pop that to the side. What colour does it say? Oh, it just says metallic pink. So let's just try this out. This is by Stamperia. So I'm gonna just, oh it smells lovely. Just add a little bit, look at that, a little bit of sparkle. If you can see. There we go. Got to have a little bit of sparkle if you've got a butterfly. That looks so pretty. Just picks up over the top of the stencil on here. Let's go up here. Gosh, I haven't used this for a long time. This is the nice thing about doing sort of like the mixed media. You can, um, all the things that you have in your stash, you can bring back out again. Things that you've forgotten about. Looks really pretty. There we go, this is quite a simple one. I don't think I've overdone it this time. Sticking too much stuff on. Learning to not add so much, which I've been trying to do for a long time, but I like to add more and more things. So we do say that the less is more, don't we? So that's what I have to go by sometimes or try. But that I am just loving. I think that looks so, so pretty. What else? I can, I know I think less is more, but I think that looks nice. Shall I add a little bit of stamping? I have got these which are like little bubbles. Shall we just, which I think might look quite nice. I'm gonna use some stays on. So I'm either going to ruin it or I'm not. So let's just see. I'm going to pop it so they come up here. 
Oh, that looks quite nice actually. Just, just a couple down there. Maybe just down the side. Like that. What do you think? Now, I could do with my little these little ones, couldn't I? The little dotties. Tiny little dots as well. Can I put that on there? Okay. I do like that. Now I'm just going to use my Posca pen, the white one. Just go around just a little bit. Just to take some of that black out. Like that. I do like that. I think that looks really nice. Let me sit that on top. Let's get these. Let's just add a little bit of highlight and a little bit of shadowy bits on here, shall we? Let's hopefully we don't mess it up. Just a little bit along here. The thing is about these, they have that big fat tip on the end, don't they? So, they do make it a little bit messy, but I quite like that. I'm going to go in with, again, just a tiny bit of gesso. I think that looks really pretty. So I am actually going to leave it like that. I hope you can see like the little shiny bits. I'll do a little bit of a close up um, when I take some pictures at the end, but I'm gonna leave it like that because I, ask, I will add too much to it. So I think that looks really lovely. So there we go, guys, a nice quick one for today. And I think that looks really, really pretty. All right, thank you so much for joining me. Please take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.